Uh, thank you, Deputy Speaker. I rise to support the motion by the member for Sydney on behalf of all university students in all universities, but particularly for the more than 13,000 students who attend Griffith University in my electorate of Morton. And for them, today is their first day of lectures uh, for 2017, apart from those hard-working hard souls who did the summer subjects. For many, it will be their first ever day at university, the beginning of what we hope will be an amazing journey. Uh, I wish them all the best, best for their studies, especially my, uh, my niece uh, Erin Shearer and uh, Erin Ella Harrison from Warwick. Last Tuesday, I had the pleasure of attending the O-Week Market Day at the Nathan campus of Griffith Uni. I spoke with Lucas Kennedy, the president of the Student Representative Council, about campus life and what students are concerned about. Like many of his fellow students, Lucas said his family encouraged him to go to university so that he could launch himself into a good job and get ahead. But Lucas questions why he should be saddled with unreasonable debt when he graduates. Unlike my generation, many first-year university students commencing today will graduate with a hefty debt. They will know the burden of debt before they have the satisfaction of starting their careers. We know how unaffordable housing is becoming, and these young Australians will be saddled with debt before they can even think about saving for a house. Uh, universities should not only be for the elite. They should be the melting pots in our society, where our brightest come together, bringing all parts of our community uh, to, together to learn, to research, to make discoveries that will make all of our lives better and to develop the industries of the future and, more importantly, the jobs of the future. Uh, that's where the jobs and growth will come from. It is critical that university education be accessible to all Australians who have the drive and the ability to learn. We do not want our tertiary education system to become Americanised. We need our best and brightest to be given opportunities, not constrained by their postcodes. We don't want our children paying $100,000 degrees. Now, I know $100,000 might not be much for those living in harbourside mansions, but it's actually a lot of money for most Australians. To a 17-year-old or 18-year-old school leaver, it could be the factor that makes them decide to not continue their education. And what a terrible waste of human resources that would be. It should not be your parents' bank balance that determines if you go to university. Lucas is also worried about budget cuts at Griffith University. He says the cuts will see uh, two staff per department cut. It will mean that amenities won't be upgraded or new ones that are actually needed won't be installed. Uh, Lucas showed me that the Nathan campus, a mother's room, uh, that needs an upgrade. This space is for student mothers with children and is a space for them to breastfeed their babies. The, a facility that is particularly important for women who are reskilling for the, for the workforce. Uh, and Mr Turnbull has just made it a whole lot harder for university students to get through their university years. How? By the, when we see the Fair Work Commission's decision to cut the penalty rates of some of Australia's lowest paid workers, who will this hit hardest, well, women especially, but also university students who find time to work on the weekend. I spoke to Lucas about this decision and asked him how it would affect university students at Griffith Uni. He told me that it believes it will force more students to work more hours during the week, taking them out of classes and tutorials. Could the Turnbull government make it any harder for our young Australians who are just trying to get ahead in life? Well, they actually are. This week, they've introduced a bill that will have young people wait five weeks before they can access New Start, and they want to push 22 to 24-year-olds onto the lower youth allowance, which will mean a cut of about $48 per week. It is easy to see where the priorities of this government are. They give a pay cut to young students, prevent them from accessing New Start for five weeks, and are intent on making them pay $100,000 for their degrees. All the while while this government is focused on giving a tax break to big multinational comp companies, which will be a $50 billion tax giveaway. What sort of a skewed value system is that? Uh, there's a quote from Confucius that says, if your plan is for one year, plant rice. If your plan is for 10 years, plant trees. If your plan is for 100 years, educate children. Sadly, Deputy Speaker, Prime Minister Turnbull's only plan is to keep his own job. And that's deplorable, Deputy Speaker. Deplorable. Labor will fight for students to get a fair go, to be paid a fair return for their work on weekends, to get the help they need when they need it, and to make sure they can get a university education if they have the ability and drive and talent. The future of Australia will be determined by the education we give our young Australians today. Sadly, the Turnbull government the uh, National Party is betraying the bush when it comes to education, and that was the, we've seen that in the story on the front page of The Australian today. 
So, Deputy Speaker, I'm proud to commend this motion to the House. I thank the member.